Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this video is all about the new drift mechanics in Need for Speed Unbound with the Volume 3 update. Let's go! First, I'd like to explain the Drift UI. I find that just knowing what you're looking at can help tremendously. On the right side, you'll see your total score. This is actually your total score that you've banked, meaning it's safe, you can't lose it by running into something and losing your multiplier or your chain. At the top, just below the three circles, is your chain score. This is a cumulative counter of your current drift chain. That score is not safe at all and needs to be banked. The big number in the circle is your multiplier and the text just below the multiplier is what you are earning points for and how many. And finally, the three circles at the top are your combo bonuses. All right. Here's how the drift events work. You earn points for three different things in these events. Drifting, going through checkpoints, and NOS. The more points you earn without missing a checkpoint or stopping your chain for too long, the better your multiplier will get. You can bank your chain without dropping your multiplier by not drifting for about one second. But if you don't drift for around two seconds, not only will you bank your chain, but you'll lose your multiplier and have to start building that all over. If you run into something directly and come to a stop, you're gonna lose both your chain and your multiplier. Nothing will get banked and you will have zero score. You will also lose everything if you miss a checkpoint. So you need to be careful. Try not to run into anything directly. Side swipes and bumps and hitting things with the back of your car, not that big of a deal. In fact, you can fully run into a wall as long as your car doesn't get completely crashed out and reset. It's when it gets reset or you come to a complete stop that you're gonna lose everything. So just try to keep moving as much as you can. Even if you hit park cars, if you just hold the NOS button, you can keep your car moving and thus keep your multiplier active. The multiplier only multiplies when your score is banked. It doesn't change the amount of points that you are currently earning for your chain. Each multiplier level is earned through scoring and after analyzing a lot of clips, the multiplier upgrades near these type of scores. So from one to two, you need to get a thousand points. To get to a times three, you need 3,200. To get to a times four, you need 6,200. And to get to a times five, you need around 10,200. Each clip that I looked at, it was slightly different, maybe by a few points here or there. And that just could be a delay in when the UI actually showed that your multiplier had changed. Nonetheless, it's around those numbers. Your goal should be to not bank your chain until you have a five times multiplier. You can use checkpoints and your NOS to keep your chain going on straighter sections that are harder to drift naturally. The idea being that as long as you're scoring something at the time, your multiplier and your chain will continue to rise. Of course, you can always swing back and forth on a straight section to keep it alive, but this kills your speed and is overall a bad strategy for your points. Speed and fluidity are absolutely crucial. The longer, more fluid, more angular drifts that you do, the more points you're going to get. And to sustain those types of drifts, you need to have good speed. Speed seems to be the centerpiece of these drifting events. You earn drift points faster when you're traveling faster, and you can make more natural fluid drifts when you have more speed and checkpoints actually reward more points when you pass through them in as little amount of time from the last checkpoint as possible. You'll notice that on the checkpoint gate, there's a countdown timer as you approach. The longer you take to get from one checkpoint to the next checkpoint, the less points you're going to get for that section of the drift event. Now, that being said, you can't just race through the event and expect to see a good score. You need to be using all of the track and maximize each drift, but it's more important to maintain your speed and angle than to drift longer distances. Here's an example. On the right side of your screen, I take the inside lane by turning in just a tiny bit too early. Now I maintain the drift and the speed through the entire corner, which is good, but the distance I travel is actually a little bit shorter than on the left side of the screen. 
On the left side, I turn in a little later and take an outside lane, which makes the distance drifted longer, but my angle is not as big. The right side gets about a thousand points for this turn when you remove the combo bonus that happens near the end of the drift, while the left side earns about seven to eight hundred. I entered this corner with about the same speed and drifted for about the same amount of time. However, the line I took on the right allowed me to drift at a bigger angle and thus I earned more points. The key is to make sure that you're entering the corner with the right amount of speed, maximize the possible drift distance, and get the angle right. If in the clip on the left side, I had maximized my angle, it would have been a near perfect way to take this corner and I would have earned a lot more points. You do need to be careful with your speed though, because if you enter a corner that's too sharp, with too much speed, you're likely gonna make mistakes or take the wrong line or hit the wall. All of those things obviously will affect your score in a negative way. So make sure you're entering the corner with the right amount of speed, enough to smoothly take that corner with a big angle and maximizing the entire width of the track. Now, because speed is so important, it seems like for now, the cheese method of drifting by going back and forth, back and forth throughout the entire track really won't yield more points than simply putting a smooth and fluid run together with lots of speed. I am super relieved about that. It's actually something that I was worried about while I was watching this trailer. But also, side note, I love the fact that you can still bang into stuff and not lose points and multipliers. I know that sounds weird, but this is an arcade game and fun needs to be the top priority. And I feel like they definitely created this event with that in mind. I lost myself in these events for like four hours, repeating the same events over and over again because it's absolutely so fun to try and get the max score. This event style is going to increase replayability for Need for Speed Unbound. I highly recommend you give it a try. All right, hopefully this helps you understand the drift events a little bit more Need for Speed Unbound. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. Trigger out.